hello hello everybody welcome back to pink crafty world today i'm bringing you um a diy and this diy it's um you guys know that i'm being creating these pins so i can use it in journals and um, stuff like that and um, these like we call them hat pins and um since i'm being creating these ones i would like to have a pink cushion to put them on so I was shopping in my craft room and I came across of this here. This cute uh, vintage, um, it says fine bone china, England. And uh, I found this and I love it so much. It's such a cute trinket tray to me. And uh, I'm gonna make this as a pink cushion. Okay. We're gonna need um, some of these uh, fiber fill, like what is going inside the pillows and cushions and stuff like that. And I also am um, gonna use fabric, white fabric. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut um, a piece of the fabric. Okay. And I'm gonna cut like um, a rectangle square. Well, I'm gonna cut a rectangle first because I want to cut the fabric like as even as I can. And then I will cut like square, right? And then this square, I'm gonna go in my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew this side and this side. So I'll be back for that. Okay. Now we have like a, a bag that it I did I sew, but again it's not perfect. I didn't even change the thread. <laughs> I've been using the same um, multicolored thread that I'm using, metal one, and that doesn't mean anything because we are going to um, fill it up with um, this thing, and then we're gonna put it inside the cup, and nobody gonna notice. Um, anything so yeah I'm gonna turn this back because the beautiful side is this one which it shines and looks so pretty already so now that I have this like that We are going to stick this in here using our hot glue and uh, making this look very nice. I wanted it puffy, but I don't want it like too, too puffy. So maybe I have to take some of it out just a little bit and see. You guys probably have to, you know, keep like taking some about like I'm doing, you know, it's just, it's just like, and now to not to show those corners, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the corners in. And again, these don't have to be perfect because we're going to stick um, that with, uh, we're going to glue it um, to the ceramic piece with the hot glue so nobody is going to see you know that part already so you guys see this is to help us a little like just like that perfect right so now i'm going to cut the thread on the needle off and I'm going to work with the hot glue and it's probably other people who make this perfect than what I do but you know um, this is my way to do it so um, 
I made one before for a friend of mine. And uh, yeah, she didn't complain about it. She loved the thing. So right there, okay? So you guys see how cute it's coming out? Okay, we are not done in here. We are going to be um, bit of the hot glue and that be it then we can start like fixing you know the cushion like this like to make it look fuller everywhere okay so I don't want to leave this like that because this is like kind of a chubby cheek piece. So I'm gonna get some um, trims from my stash. to me it's like four five or six so i grab all these trims because i don't know what which ones you know it will look better with um this so first i'm thinking to put some kind of trim here so you know the imperfections we always have to try to cover the imperfections you know so we can cover the imperfections so I don't know if I should go with something like this or pink. What do you guys think? You guys let me know, please. <laughs> Can you guys yell at me? I also have this here, but I don't know if it's going to be enough or not. So let me take it out. Yes, it's, it's, it's enough. It's cute, but I don't like it as much. I think I will go with this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And to do that, I'm going to start over here. To start adding the trim. I'm going to be using this trim is so beautiful guys I get this at, in Aliexpress for a very very low price because why I want this but this is going to be like in the bottom here and why is because I don't want to cover the floral you know the floor is a beautiful design so I'm going to start gluing this here before I change my mind and I can glue this right in here let me melt this there we go I'm sorry guys um, sometimes things don't go the way we will love to but I'm going to get rid of this here you guys see now I have these pieces hanging in there and I'm going to glue this here and to glue this here it's going to be a little bit tricky because I'm going to have to put like a, a piece of foam or a couple of pieces of foam 
to make it um, even. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, to do that, I'm just going to use some of these uh, square foam pieces from the Dollar Tree. very even very nice it looks cute now what we can do is we can glue a um, couple of uh, flowers so I'm going to get them And of course, if you want, you can put more. Um, I'm not going to, but I'm going to put some in the base, like down here. You guys see they have that spot there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue some of these right there like I can do pink one again I wonder if they have any this one is pretty cute also but since I'm doing these on top that's what I'm going to do in the bottom because you know I don't want these to look like 500 different things to stay coordinated, you know. Oops. 
hands are full of glue now and I'm going to put this in the bottom but I'm gonna cut it long so I can stick it through here you guys see right there maybe another one in there or up here don't know yet but something like that guys oops Like I said, um, I would like to put, um, oh my God, what is it called? Um, E6000 on this, but for the purpose of the video, it will take me uh, too long to actually, you know, have that dry. So, um, what you guys see now? It looks like more completed. I think it looks so cute so I'm going to stick um, the pens in here so you guys can have an idea on you know how it's going to look and what I did here um, sorry about the I have to say I hope that you guys like my tutorial it's not the best tutorial ever you know but is to give you guys an idea on how you can you know recycle reuse things in your craft room you know you can make something like this cute out of you know things that you have around your home i did have this and i think i show you guys when i get this and it was in my shelf where i have all my sequins and uh i was thinking to make one of the swans as a pink cushion but i I didn't I changed my mind and I see this small trinket tray and I was like you know what it's not a trinket tray but I use it for that that was the, the purpose for it I'm going to make this as a uh, hat pin uh, cushion and yes here it is I hope you guys enjoy so much and uh, thank you so much guys for watching I uh, appreciate your time I appreciate you know you stopping by and uh, always watching my videos leave me a comment down below if you guys have any questions um don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet please we will do these diys and much many more um craft videos so of course i will be seeing you guys in the next one bye bye now